Hi, it's Andy again. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to launch an activity from a fragment. Fragment. Uh, now, why would you do this? Well, let's say you're using something like a slider, sliding menu or a view pager, and you want to launch another view, but it doesn't quite go along with um, some UI item that you're going with. So let's say you had a sliding menu and you wanted to put in a view pager. While I have seen this done uh, before and imp implemented very well, uh, you probably don't want to do this normally uh, because every single time you swip, swipe the view pager, you're also running the risk of swiping for the, <clears throat> for the, um, for the sliding menu. Now one way to avoid that is by setting the sliding menu as in the margin. But uh, if you like to have the full screen effect for the for the sliding menu, it's probably not a good idea to do that with a view pager. So how would you launch um, a new activity from either a list view or from an on um, a button on click uh, method? So I created a little program that I'll, I'll link in the sort link the source in the product in the video description and. Uh, we have your main activity. This is the one that's going to be called. Uh, it's going to replace the current view with this list fragment here. And then I'm going to generate a list of uh, a string array with uh, these three names and it's going to launch these three activities. So uh, real simple. This is the main activity. This is one that the, the project launches. And we're just going to replace the, the view that we have with um, this a new list fragment. Now the view that I have here is actually if you go here it's gonna be um, just a container. It's just a frame view blank nothing's in it. Now I did that intentionally because to launch the fragment now we want to replace that container with uh, the fragment. Now uh, you want to have this list view with uh, an ID of Android at uh, ID list. Now you don't actually need this for this example because we're going to be using a, a predefined um, resource. But uh, if you wanted to do a custom list view, you would need to create a um, an XML layout like this and make whatever changes you wanted to, and then put it in a custom adapter. But we're going to be using a, a, a default one. And all these main activities here uh, are, so, sorry, all these activities that we're going to be launching are just going to be a text view with activity in it. All right, so now that we've set that up, let's set up the, the list. So it's a list fragment. We're going to create an intent I. That's what we're going to be launching activities with. Uh, fragments you replace, intents you launch with an intent. Oh, sorry, activities you launch with an intent. Um, it's not very different it's just only a little different so we have our string that we're going to populate this is a set static list of uh, activity one two and three so it'll show up as a list of, a three item list uh, we want to call the <clears throat> the fragments on activity created and we're going to set that list so we're going to set the list adapter to an array adapter of a string, uh, we need to get the activity. Now, if we were using um, a list activity, this would just be this because we're using that activity. But since fragment, fragments are not activities, you have to get the activity. And this, in this case, is getting the main activity. And uh, this is the default uh, list that we're using. Nothing uh, special about it. It's just. Um, a simple list item one that's a Android resource. It's exactly the same as if we were to use this. Um, so your list is going to look like that. Okay, and <clears throat> now we need to generate, tell the list adapter what the items we want to populate in that list, and that's the string array right up here. Now on our on click, our list item click. We are going to say we want to get the position of uh, which item we're clicking on. So this would be 0, this will be 1, this will be 2. So we have k0, which is the first item. 
we're saying this intent I is going to be a new intent where we have to get the activity um, sorry you don't need to get application context we want to get the activity and we want to launch uh, activity one now the second one we are going to launch activity two and activity three we're going to close off this switch right here and then uh, the final uh, code to say okay what are we going to do with that intent we need to start that activity so this is actually what's going to be launching the activity so when we run it it actually looks like this so we click it and launches the activity of one now notice we didn't have to set um, something where the back button uh, essentially caches the last page page uh, it automatically does that for us in this case so when we hit the back button you still launch the, the previous fragment which is nice you don't have to set the uh, add to back stack because they're not fragments it's it's just an activity then we hit it again the project closes so that's how you launch uh, launch activities from fragments. I hope this tutorial is helpful for somebody and have